this airplane may look like an ordinary Cessna 208B Grand Caravan. However, this plane is far from ordinary. This is X-Wing's experimental self-flying aircraft. It's been modified to fly completely autonomously, meaning it can taxi, take off, and land without any pilot intervention. X-Wing is a San Francisco-based company that's working to certify this autonomous aircraft for unpiloted cargo flights in the United States. To prepare for those autonomous cargo flights, the company has been operating a fleet of regular Cessna cargo planes that ship cargo for UPS. Those operations are piloted for now, but X-Wing hopes to begin making cargo flights without pilots on board by 2024. I had the privilege of taking one of these self-flying Cessna planes out for a spin. X-Wing invited me to come along on a demonstration flight from the company's hangar at Buchanan Airfield in Concord, California. We flew to a small airport just outside Sacramento called Yolo County Airport. Flying along with me was X-Wing safety pilot Gabriel DeFrancesco, but he didn't have to do much in terms of actually flying the plane. The only time the pilot was in control of the aircraft was during the takeoff from Buchanan Airfield, and that's only because the FAA doesn't allow experimental aircraft to fly over densely populated areas. A few minutes after Gabe manually took off from Buchanan Airfield, we began flying over a more sparsely populated area, and X-Wing's so-called super pilot was activated with just the touch of a button. From that point on, all Gabe had to do was monitor the flight to make sure the super pilot did what it was supposed to do. Sitting in the back of the plane, X-Wing's chief technology officer, Maxime Gabriel, helped to monitor the flight. X-Wing also has ground controllers who monitor the flights from a small trailer at Yolo Airport. Inside the plane, the flight data was displayed on four monitors. One of these displays shows a map of all the local air traffic and FAA waypoints along the way. Another display combines geographical data with the views from the airplane's external cameras. The super pilot uses these cameras, plus radars and lidars, to provide a comprehensive view of the aircraft's environment. The flight into Yolo Airport was surprisingly smooth. I had never been on such a small airplane before, and I was expecting a bumpy ride. Of course, the beautiful weather we had that day definitely helped in having a smooth flight. But the super pilot itself also flies a lot more smoothly than if a pilot were in control. That's because the super pilot is extremely precise, as it follows the predetermined and optimized flight path. After the airplane landed itself at Yolo Airport, we took off once again. This time the super pilot was fully in control, and our pilot Gabe didn't have to do anything other than supervise the flight. We flew a circle over the airport and then returned for another flawless autonomous landing. After we landed at YOLO for a second time, the plane taxied itself over to the Mobile Mission Control Center. Here I got to witness another autonomous Cessna flight, but this time it was from the ground controller's perspective. So the system automatically knows to come to a stop at these lines that are marked on the taxiways, like the cold short marks where you're not allowed to cross without permission. And uh, here there's no such thing as permission, but uh, we need to make sure that the runway is clear before we get onto the runway. Continuing taxi. Break released. Roger, I'll try and get a uh, ready for departure. 360. Continuing taxi. Yolo traffic caravan 1X Royce. Auto takeoff initiated. The self flying Cessna once again taxied and took off all on its own, and it flew a circuit over Yolo Airport before coming back for another autonomous landing. X Wing says its super pilot system can autonomously detect and avoid hazards in the air, such as other airplanes. However, it's worth noting that the ground controller did input a few manual commands to steer clear of other air traffic around the airport. Yolo traffic, Caravan 1X Air Whiskey is going to do a right 360 on crosswind for spacing behind 405. Right 360 initiated. Yolo traffic, green Cessna lining up the wait on 34. Yolo traffic. So that's the fun of working at an uncontrolled uh, airfield is uh, people can fly in predictable patterns and um, you know there's someone taking off uh, that we couldn't then circle back around and cross the uh, departure path. Um, so fortunately, we've been doing this long enough that we figured out ways to automate various pieces of 
the traffic pattern. So uh, that, you know, was a two button press for me to be able to build spacing yellow behind traffic, someone yeah, and also not interfere with three, other four, traffic that's traffic. behind us. So it's, uh, you know, having these operations today has really been Thank teaching us a lot about our five, system five, and how it needs to be uh, built uh, for uh, future uh, airspace uh, integration. Five, one five. Auto leg sequence initiated. Downwind leg extended. Yellow traffic caravan one X-ray whiskey is on an extended downwind for three four left traffic yellow. Yellow traffic to the four zero five turning mile three four seven to yellow. And so that's a, another example that airplane was really, really slow, so we had to do two things in one traffic pattern to avoid that uh, traffic. So uh, the second thing I did there was we have a button press where I can just extend how long we fly away from the airport. It does that in half mile increments, and I could do that in theory forever. Um, and then the system will uh, rejoin its normal final approach when uh, it intercepts that final glide slope. So you'll heal our all this in call outs. All systems go. Continue so auto so Both the pilot and I are hearing the same uh, enunciations of what's going on with the automated system so we can be on the same page. And, Deep crap. Uh, it reduces our communication that we have to do between each other. Uh, and then also gives us uh, a little bit reduced workload so we know when to expect the system to tell us how well it's doing. On the left day for run at 3-4, let's go, yellow traffic. 100. Touchdown. After watching the flight from the Mission Control Center, I once again boarded X-Wing's plane and began my journey back to Buchanan Airfield in Concord. The Cessna flew itself most of the way, but the pilot had to take control of the plane as we once again flew over the more densely populated area. The flight back was relatively uneventful, and we didn't have to deviate from the planned flight path to avoid any other planes. After we landed safely at Buchanan Airfield, the super pilot took over control of the plane again and it taxied back to X-Wing's hangar autonomously. The flight may be over for me, but X-Wing still has a lot of work to do with the data it collected during the demonstration. X-Wing collects data on every flight it does, including the piloted cargo flights. The company uses this data to constantly refine its super pilot autonomous flight system. This will help X-Wing work towards its goal of obtaining a supplemental type certificate to fly autonomous cargo operations. Eventually, the company hopes that this technology will enable autonomous passenger flights as well. However, it may be a long time before passengers are willing to take flight without any pilots on board. And in any case, the FAA and most other international regulators have yet to confirm on what basis they would allow this to happen.